Hello children, welcome to online learning portal of Srimati SG English Medium Primary School. Myself Nikhil Patel and today I'm going to teach in Standard 7, Lesson 1, Nutrition in Plants. But before we understand, let's understand what is nutrition. Now, being a human being, you do a lot many activities like breathing, blood circulation, running, walking. And for this, you need a lot much amount of energy. You know, children, where do we get this energy from? So yes, we get this all energy from food. But you know, what are the components of food which will give you this much amount of energy? So yes, in foods, we have carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and this all are called nutrients, which our body utilizes it for further growth, to repair its worn out tissues and further processes. And that's why this process is called nutrition. So now let me show you something on the screen so that you can understand what you have learned in the previous class and what further you are going to learn. One, nutrition in plants. We have studied in class 6 about the various components of food like proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and minerals. These are called nutrients. The nutrients enable living organisms to build their bodies, grow, repair damaged part of their bodies and provide energy to carry out life processes. Nutrition is the process of taking food by an organism and its digestion, absorption and utilization by the body. Modes of nutrition. So children, on the categories of how the organism takes its nutrition, it has been divided. So generally there are two modes of nutrition. One is autotropic mode of nutrition, another is heterotropic mode of nutrition. So now, what is this autotropic mode of nutrition? And what is heterotrophs? So let me brief you a little bit about it. So first here, auto means self and tropic means nutrition. So the organism which prepare their own food are called autotrophs. Whereas hetero means other and tropos that I have discussed that is means nutrition. So the organism which cannot prepare their own food, but they are directly or indirectly dependent on other organisms for their food are called heterotrophs. So let me show you that on the screen first, so then we will discuss. On the basis of obtaining food, there are mainly two modes of nutrition. Autotrophic mode of nutrition. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Autotrophic mode of nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which an organism makes its own food from simple substances like carbon dioxide, water. Now, children, looking at the screen, you would have come to know okay, what are autotrophs. Yes, green plants. There are only the creature which are green plants can prepare their own food. And that's why they are called autotrophs. You know, they don't utilize any living organisms to get their food. But they prepare their own food with the help of sunlight, water, carbon dioxide. And that's why they are called autotrophs. So let us see on the screen first how they prepare their food and further we will highlight it. Water and minerals present in the surroundings is called autotrophic nutrition. Green plants and some bacteria prepare their own food by the autotrophic mode of nutrition. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which an organism cannot make its own food from the simple substances but obtains ready-made food made by green plants directly or indirectly is called heterotrophic nutrition. Animals and non-green children, have you heard about in which categories we do we fall? You know, we fall in heterotropic mode of nutrition category. You know why? Though we don't snatch the food from any other living organisms, but we get it from the market. 
you get the fruit from market, vegetables get from the market, even the food grains from the market. But you know, where does this, it came from the market, so it came in from the plants. So we don't grow the plants. We obviously we grow, but we don't prepare the food for them. And that's why we are also called heterotrophs. So let's discuss this in, that in detail, yeah, that why plants are called autotrophs and why human beings are called heterotrophs. But before that, let me show you a nice, beautiful song on photosynthesis. But remember that before hearing the song, you will have to hear very consciously the song, mark certain words and terms that are used in this song. So children, let me show you a song on photosynthesis. If you want to know how a plant grows, it takes water, air and sunlight and makes cellulose. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. Unlike me and you, plants need CO2 and they make oxygen that stops us turning blue. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees. A plant of any size can do it if it tries but we're not green so we can't photosynthesize. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis. Children, you would have enjoyed this song. So now, let's start. Okay, what this photosynthesis means? So you know, photo means light and synthesis means to build. So the organism which builds its food by light, and that's why it's called photosynthesis. Second thing you would have seen in this song that they have a green color. The plants have a green in color because of presence of chlorophyll in it. And that's why they are able to prepare its food. So children, we'll be discussing much more about these things, but not in this class for the next class. Till then, you will have to write down the certain points that you have find it very important in this video. Anyways, see you soon for the next class. Till then, bye. Take care. Have a good day ahead, all of you.